What develops in older narcissists as they age? Good day and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about aging narcissists. Do they find it difficult to accept the passing of time as inevitable? Will they advance? In other words, I'm interested in discovering if they alter, whether it's for the better or worse. What will happen to their loved ones in the outside world is also a significant concern. How does the narcissist aging affect those closest to them? There will always be exceptions. Thus, it's hard for me to answer these issues. For the time being, let's concentrate on some of the more typical problems that narcissists encounter as they age, as well as potential remedies to those problems. I'm sharing this video in the hopes that you will enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. It's important to remember that narcissists frequently exhibit a sense of entitlement. Selfishness and arguing are two human qualities. This trait may cause a person to be overly sensitive, defensive when criticized, and emotionally disconnected. People who thrive in authoritative situations frequently have manipulative tendencies because they desire to be in charge and have power over others. First, if they didn't nurture such bonds while they were young, they could have lost contact with the friends and lovers they formerly had. Perhaps they got up and carried on with their lives. It's conceivable that others fled from them for fear for their safety. In that they occasionally feel alone, narcissists are no different from the rest of us. However, one of its potential adverse effects is severe depression. Because of this, narcissists may try to entice people back into their lives or re-engage those who have already left by emphasizing their attractive traits, monetary achievement, or other positive characteristics. In their mid-30s, many narcissists go through a stage of denial. Some narcissists are incredibly vain, believing they are more appealing physically than they actually are. Though it's unlikely that they will become less appealing with time, Many narcissists still struggle to avoid becoming too sensitive to their aging, even in their middle years. Some narcissists could attempt to go back in time. To mimic a young appearance, they could spend a lot of money on hair color, designer clothing, and anti-aging creams. Some narcissists may be drawn to younger companions or even have romances with them. After reaching middle age, narcissistic mothers frequently try to emulate the appearance of their daughters. Being said something encouraging like, you look more like sisters, can do wonders for their self-esteem. To the point of trying to charm or seduce their daughter's boyfriends, some narcissistic parents go to extremes. On the other hand, a narcissistic father's children would regard them as royalty. A parent with narcissistic tendencies would see himself as the leader of the entire family, not simply the home. Potential competitors include one another, as well as their progeny. Narcissists boast about how much better they have done than others their age. Sometimes narcissistic parents deprive their kids of all attention when it comes to them. Those children could get criticism, discouragement, or sabotage. They tend to say things like, that's all because of me, when they hear that a child has achieved something independently. Now, if the narcissist is having trouble speaking with their adult children and one of those children as a partner and the two of them have reconciled as a couple with sound boundaries in place, the narcissist may try to get around by speaking to their grandkids. Narcissistic grandparents frequently give their grandkids their cell phones so they can reach them whenever possible. Narcissists would lavish them with goods and attention in ways that their parents would disapprove of to win them over. The narcissist may have always intended to make the parents look terrible by using their disapproval to do so. Now, if their children's marriages fail and they blame themselves for interfering too much, they might try to completely trash the ex-spouse to keep their grandchildren from bonding with them. While most parents would continue to provide for their own children after a divorce, there are some cases in which one parent will choose to provide financial support to their ex-spouse instead. They listen, encourage, and provide useful feedback. Narcissists find it harder and harder to hold on to their flimsy false sense of self as they age. As they lose the physical attributes that define who they are, they deteriorate and lose their attractiveness. They have less sexual desire, making them more difficult to fool themselves. They may reflect extensively on their previous achievements. They try to win someone over by boasting about their former achievements, saying things like, it's sad that today's youngsters just do not possess the tools necessary to achieve the level of success that their parents and grandparents did. The current generation of youth has it far simpler than earlier generations did. They needed to step up their game. Then there are those who might become astonishingly immature instead of growing up. Throwing a tantrum as a means of protest when one's wishes are rejected is still very much a thing today. They can get extremely hostile at times. It may likely happen over time, at which point 
they would start whining about how unfairly they've been treated and how society has wrongly handled them. They've discussed failed relationships, failed plans, and the consequences of poor judgment. No one will believe them if they say they sacrificed their dreams to support their families. They might hold a grudge against their exes or whoever they believe is to blame for their plight. As people have more time to think about their difficulties, they become more bitter and angry. I also noticed that narcissists had a bad habit of harboring resentment for extended periods of time. Even if decades-old narcissistic wounds can feel as new and painful as the day they were inflicted, this is how narcissists remember whatever wrongdoing they've experienced. The times they were self-centered and nasty were likely exceptions, though, so they tried to look past them. Narcissists avoid responsibility for their actions and feel shame when others point them out. They will always see themselves as the victim, no matter how much damage they have done or how many people they have taken advantage of. As a result, it's feasible that negative tendencies persist. In addition, narcissists may regret acting in a way that pushes away the few individuals they care about if they act on their need for revenge. Further, control and manipulation can manifest in persons of any age for various reasons. If they are lonely or alone, they may not know how to ask for help. Narcissists should instead think of other ways to achieve their goals, whether they want or needs them. Yet again, this could backfire if people find ways to cease providing help or find more polite methods to decline requests. Guilt and humiliation are sometimes used in this manipulation, as in, after all I've done for you, I haven't much longer to go. Remember that old narcissists sometimes resent seeing their influence and authority dwindle as newer generations rise to prominence. Maybe they've had enough time to master the subtleties of coercion and power dynamics by their extended lifespans. Even if their grandkids aren't very happy to see them, they might need to put on a brave front in public by seeming to smile. Surprisingly though, people frequently manage to get over their medical issues and swiftly bounce back when participating in activities they like. On the other hand, elder narcissists frequently display angry, self-destructive conduct that has developed over the years. There may still be a lot of arrogance, but there is a lot less confident now because of the many individuals they have alienated over the years. As they get older and less mobile, they may finally learn to depend on others for help, but their behavior may make that difficult. They might not have many allies or many alternatives available to them. Narcissistic breakdowns can occur at any time. They realize they have nowhere to go, no one to turn to for support, and no one to talk to. Their falsehoods and deceit have been revealed for what they are, making them worthless. There is no longer a populace that can be taken advantage of. They could get more desperate. To answer your last question, let's consider aging narcissists' effects on their loved ones. I think it's normal for them to feel awkward or even confused when they see the narcissist they care about deteriorate with age. Some people may hold grudges against their abusers because they remember the pain they were caused. They might feel remorse, however. They've reached the end of their tether with that person due to their constant criticism, lies, demands for more, and lack of reciprocity. Even now, many still feel sorry for them. If you learn that somebody is very ill, you could feel driven to get in touch with them even though you haven't spoken to them in a long time. The narcissist might astound you by making progress in the latter phases. They have run out of excuses for being dishonest and have nothing to gain from doing so. This might be an excellent opportunity to strive for peace. The narcissist could, at last, provide the apologies and resolution that others have been longing for. I cannot promise that narcissists will improve with age although some data indicate this may be the case. One can make the case that when there is no one else to lie to, no reason to lie and nothing to gain, narcissists are more likely to be honest with themselves, recognize the wrongdoing for what it is and apologize. They may experience many regrets after realizing how little they care about their isolation. Everyone they've ever met is aware of what a horrible young adult they were. They might gain from being more humble. To sum up, that's the gist of the elderly narcissist. As always, you know where you need to go if you want to ask questions or make suggestions. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Have a nice day.